Hi, welcome to C Sharp Restaurant Management System developed in Visual Studio 2015. So, let me show you guys how it works. If I select any, select all of those components and enter an invalid data, click on that, that's what you get. You get the error message. Can you see that? So, so we can always clear that and let's say I enter correct value in there. And here, use the number up and down to select the type of drinks that I want. A number of delivery. Click on that, and that's what you get. We can also use the currency converter to convert it to whatever exchange rate we might want. Okay, so let's say we go for India. Let's enter the exchange rate there and go for 53 points and just convert it right there so you can close that if you want or just to check out the, the value in there and say 53.25 okay plus 0.27 and that's it you can just compare the value close there if you reopen everything is gone close it and you can delete okay you can reset if you want okay so what I will do now is take you guys straight into visual studio development environment open up C sharp and we will start another one a different program entirely so that you guys see how I've managed to put this together. Okay, let's go into the development environment now. Welcome to C Sharp Tutorial in Visual Studio 2015. And I'll start by clicking on New Project. And once this uh, dialog box pops up, you select Visual Studio right up here there select windows forms application and right there just give it a name i'm going to call it restaurant management system so that'll be c s underscore restaurant management system and right there is the name of my project i'll click on ok now so we we'll wait for the form to load up now that the form is ready let's define the size of the form we we'll go to the property just set the size to approximately 1368 by 730 right that's the size of the system then the next thing is let's go up here and get a label in right there let's place the label up there and let's change the text value change that to restaurant management system get rid of that and type inside the label and right there we have restaurant management system the next thing I'll do to this very label is just to let's change the back color of that label to white and change the, board, the background color let's change that to yeah that's fine okay so that's fine and uh, let's enable the auto size right here make that force yeah that's it so we can just extend it or you can just go to the property since we know the width and just come here change that to 1368 368 and then alignment let's align the text content get that centered and just drag it across right there and let's move it. let's check out the size of this form and see all right okay this is how it looks now so let's get some other component on board let me get a panel let's look for panel right there right here get a panel let's draw it on board i'm going to need a couple of those so bring this down get one here and another one right here 
hold down the control and just drag across or maybe we should change the color of the panel as well let's change the color of this panel to the same color with the label right there I think there's the color used now we also need one a tab control we need a tab control right here let's draw that right here bring it down yeah okay we need three more of these panels so let's just copy across we have one here and we need just one more now let's move this up a little bit and we just need one hold and copy and just resize that just drag it across now we're getting somewhere now we need some components here so let's get a checkbox checkbox need a couple of those here and i'll just speed that up and get back to you okay right there this is how it's looking i just need to finish up with the design let's change this one to control that that and this one as well repeat exactly the same thing for this and the font color for those three components in fact let's change this font color as well let's change them all let's change it to button highlight that is fine and we need to now change this back color let's change it to control dark dark as well right now we have some text box here and up here I think maybe we should just enter a name here let's move this down a little bit all right let's get a title up here get a label and change the property change the back color just to control first of all let's go into auto size make that force so that we can size it the way we want it's about that change that to control that's fine and the font let's change the font size change the font size to maybe we can change that to something make it bold 22 or 24 Okay, get it centered. Let's see, center and delete whatever is in there. And we'll just change that to select menu right there. So that's looking good. Let's move it down a little bit. Yeah. Okay, the next thing is to design this interface here. That's going to be currency converter. Okay, that's our currency converter. We have a combo box here, text box, label, and two buttons. So right here, let's just copy these across as well. Reduce the size a little bit and bring all of these down. Tap this down a little bit. Yeah, that is fine. And we also need another button. Let's just maybe copy this yeah, and just drag it across to cover it all. And that will be our currency converter area. Come in here, change the content to right, and we will get it centered as well. We are centered. Now we need to increase the font size here. Come down, just increase that. Okay, we've change the font of that so let's get rid of whatever is in here you can just get rid of that and then we'll get back to that later on now we now need to take care of these two interface there these two panels okay this is how these two interfaces are looking now all the two panels we just need to increase the font size make that bold and let's go for about that and let's see this font size first and let's move it yeah that might look a bit good yeah why not now change the color of the font let's change it to come here change that to button highlight yeah repeat the same thing for these ones as well button highlight we need to get the size right that was 18 so make this 18 as well 
Okay, I'm just trying it down a little bit. Somewhere. All right, the next thing we need to do, I already have two, three buttons here. So let's take care of one or two things you see here. Copy those. Let's bring it down. So one here and another one. Bring this one down here. Now let's change the content in here to cost of service. And here we need to change this one to change that to total cost now we're getting somewhere we just need to tap them both up no tap right that's beautiful save okay we now need to take care of this change this very first part to Let's call that calculator and this will be receipt. Alright, the calculator part of it enter as follows. Okay, we finished designing the interface. Let's just grab this and drag it across. Maybe we need to change the size of all of these buttons. Let's move that here. So if I run to so run the program and just see how it looks like for now. And right there, fellows, this is how the interface is looking now. We have a text box here. We need to take care of that. And these buttons, maybe add one or two things here. And that's the design of the interface for now. Okay.